The Canon 70D and newly released 80D are some of the most popular YouTuber cameras there are. However, that being said, there's actually some things that you can do inside the camera settings to actually improve both the audio and visual quality from your camera. In today's video, we're going to take a look at these quick settings and how to implement them and the differences that they make. Let's take a look at picture style first. If you hit menu and navigate to the fourth menu on the right, you'll see by default your camera is set to automatic. This means the camera decides on things such as sharpness, contrast, saturation, and color tone. While these settings can work, by making some slight changes, you'll find we can get an even better image. You'll find the in-camera sharpening is not as good as what you can do in post-editing. A quick fix is to change the picture style to neutral, which keeps the same settings as before, but drops the sharpness to zero. Later, in your editing program, simply add in a sharpening effect and increase it to your desired result. Here, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro with a sharpening increase of 75. While neutral isn't bad, you'll notice we still lose a lot of detail when it comes to shadows or very bright areas of our composition. By going with a flatter picture style, we're able to record more information, which will allow more editing options in post. Here you'll see an example of auto, neutral with post sharpening, and a cine style with post sharpening and color correction. When comparing all three, it might be tough to tell a difference at first, but looking at a standard versus cine style picture profile, you'll see that you'll get a much cleaner picture on the right. While neutral and cine style look even more similar, you must also remember with a flat picture, we're able to get more dynamic range, which will let us manipulate our image better in post production. Now, if you've cheated and gone ahead to try to put your camera into cine style, you've likely noticed it's not on your camera. That's because in order to get it, you must install it from the web. Don't worry though, it's a free download and a simple process. First, go to the Technicolor website through the link in the description box. From here, click on download. It'll take you to a short page to put in your information and it'll email you the file directly. Open the email and download the file. Then turn on your camera and plug it into your computer. This should launch the EOS utility. Once launched, click on the camera settings remote shooting. From here, click on shooting menu and select register user defined style. Then simply navigate to where you saved the file you downloaded. You can also use the EOS Utilities Live View function to act as a viewfinder, record, and set focus. I found this helpful when recording video at my desk. Once installed, you'll now be able to select CineStyle under the Picture Style menu. Finally, as you likely already know, the onboard microphone on these cameras aren't very good. Many of us have bought external microphones to attach for better sound quality. However, there's another camera setting we can adjust to get even better sound. By default, the camera's audio levels are set to auto. The issue with this is if you're in a somewhat quiet environment, the camera will boost audio up to the point where you can pick up some extra noise. By going into the camera settings, you can turn this to manual which disables this boosting feature and gives you cleaner sound out. So with some quick tweaks, you can take a great camera and make it even better. Hopefully this video was helpful. Give these a try and let me know what you think.